welcome to this video on the shared tab in Microsoft Teams chats. So something that's popped up on my Microsoft Teams recently and it is new, it's in the what's new section. If it's not in yours, then it will be soon. The different tenants, different uh, companies, different Teams versions sometimes takes a while to update. So this will be on its way and it's just in Teams chats at the moment. But you'll notice in my chat at the top there, I've got my chat tab and then I've got my shared tab. Now this is replacing the files tab. And if I click on it, let's have a look at what's in there. So you can see I have a document in there. But you'll notice at the top, you've got recent, you've got files and you've got links. And you've got a searching option and an upload as well. What this allows you to do is find anything that was shared within that chat conversation, including links, which is I think is a massive win. Because having to find links or save them somewhere else as a bookmark or add them to a document so I can have all my links in one place because I can't really search for them, they won't appear on my files. That's a really, really massive win for me. And if any links now are shared within the chat, then they will show up on that links option. I don't think I quite have anything there. But when I do, I'll be able to use that and go on and click them. So I'm just going to add one so we can see what that looks like. So just pop Google in there, nice and innocuous, just to see what this looks like. See if this appears, no matter who has shared it. And you can see that it's shared really nicely as a separate file. If I go into there, it's kind of like it's all file, but it is a link. And if I click on it, it's a hyperlink, it's going to take me straight to it, which is really useful. There is a box on the left hand side. You can see I've got a few options to open or copy the link, which is quite an interesting, quite an interesting, nice bit of functionality there. And just like with anything else in Microsoft Teams, you've got three dots where, again, you can manage it, open it in browser or copy link in that place as well. So that's a really, really nice bit of functionality. Looks like you're going to be able to select multiples as well. So that's super cool. I really, really like that. I'm just going to come off there and go back to my recents. So I can see files in one place and I can see links there as well. And they are easily clickable in order for me to figure out what's going on. I can see the information about who it was shared with as well, uh, who was shared by and when it was shared. In case there was multiple links on there and I wanted to look at the um, the most recent one are the correct one that was shared by someone. So you can search by them in the files or the links as well. I'm really going to have a play around with this. This might help me work a lot more efficiently rather than having to do workarounds like pulling links into documents so they're all together in one place or having loads of different bookmarks but then having a real problem of sharing those links. I think if I could just share a chat conversation and add to someone to it and share everything, then they've got all of those links. And that would make my me working with my team, I think, a lot more efficient. So one that I've only just noticed and has come up on my teams recently, like I said, if it's not there on yours, then do keep a lookout. Sometimes it takes a while for some new functionality to filter down into different teams' versions, depending on whether it's a personal one or a business one or an enterprise one or anything else. So have a look, have a play around with that. I'm hoping that eventually that will be across the whole of Teams because that's a really nice bit of functionality. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.